basically, I'm, I mean, I'm, what this video is about is exactly what the title is. Repenting of discussing matters at length with atheists. Oh boy, this guy is unflushable. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Greetings, fellow space travelers. Bionic Dance here. And yeah, it's this guy again. I'm not even going to say his name. If you're really curious, link down in the crotch bar. I would normally have just skipped right over his vid, but what he had to say was just begging for a response. So, here we go. Do we all believe Romans 1, 18 to 20? I don't know. Well, what, what does it say? Do we really, truly believe it? Romans 18 to 20. Romans 18 to... Because if we all really, truly believe it, then we would act upon it. Well, it's a little hard to act on it when you don't know what the frick it says. And what does it say? Yes! What does it say? I've said it many, many times. Not so many times that it would kill you to say it once more. Um, that people are suppressing the truth? Now, is that so difficult? Um, that truth is a truth that's been made plain or some uh, versions render it evident to them, verse 19. What is this truth that has been made evident to everyone? That the invisible attributes from God, of God, from the creation of the world, are clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, even his eternal power and divine nature, so that they are without excuse. So, let me see if I got this right. Your book that claims God is real says that God's existence is so obvious that if we don't see it for ourselves, we're just being chowderheads. That is the very epitome of begging the question. That's your book saying, I'm telling you that God is real. No, I don't have to prove it. If you don't see it for yourself, you're just being a big old stinky pants liar. It's like trying to shame somebody into going along with the crowd. And it's like saying that there is absolutely no possibility that you might be mistaken. It's dishonest. And I'm pretty sure that that God you claim to believe in values honesty. But more than that, this is just a way for you to avoid the hard work of having to actually convince people. And that is never going to work on people with integrity and self-respect. People who will withhold their commitment till they can justify it to themselves that it's logical and reasonable. But if I'm going to take God at his word, which says that <clears throat> it's clearly seen by everybody, that they're without excuse, and that even also they have the law of God written on their hearts, which is evidence of God within them. So it's all around them and within them. If I'm going to take God at his word, then it's done. The discussion's over before it even starts. Oh, it's done, is it? Well, that's me converted. That sure was easy, won it? What if every Christian did it the way I see it as, God's way? Where, look, you're without excuse. I, I don't, there's no need to discuss 2 plus 2 equals 4 with you. Um, using that as an analogy to being without excuse to knowing God exists. So 2 plus 2 equals 4, and we know that already from birth. Well, I guess there's no need for school anymore. We never needed to watch Sesame Street. Stop nice and slow. One, two. And speed up more. One, two, three, four. And stomp away. Math was written on our hearts by God. You have no excuse. There's no, I, I, I can't discuss. What if every single Christian did that? Um, we have to get out there first to talk to people. What if every Christian did that? We need to be ministering to people the gospel. Now wait just a minute. Either it's self-evident or it isn't. If it's self-evident, what do you need to preach the gospel for? But if you need to preach the gospel, how is it self-evident? Aha! Aha! And we all just went out and had Romans 1, 18 to 20 in mind, Romans 2, 14 to 15 in mind, and just, hey, if, if they don't want to agree with that, stop there and be done. What if we all did that? Would the results be better? 
I suppose that depends on what your goal is. I know I'd be a lot happier if it was that easy to shut you up. But if your goal is to persuade people that you're right, insisting that they have to already know you're right in order to keep talking to them is probably not going to win you too terribly many followers. I'm sure it sounds great on the surface, but this shortcut you're trying to take it's probably going to backfire on you. Like it or not, you're going to have to have hard discussions with people who don't immediately buy your shit. And that, these are just my, these are my thoughts. I'm basing it on the word. Am I wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Um, but I'm thankful to be done trying to convince people that two plus two is four. I am grateful. And um, so I'd be interested in hearing your comments. I like cheese. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, do the math. Not rating and subscribing has been found to cause obesity, acne, and male pattern baldness in laboratory rats.